Now to a story that we've been following since April, the discovery of an unmarked cemetery at the construction site of a new Fort Bend ISD campus in Sugarland. The future James Technological Center is located in the corner of University Boulevard and Chatham Avenue. New today, our first up close look at the grave site as experts reveal more about who is buried there. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes is live now in Sugarland with more on this. Sion. And Lauren, as construction on this new school continues, so does the work by experts to learn more about how the people buried here lived and died. It's been a long journey for local historian Reginald Moore, fighting for 15 years to get Fort Bend County to acknowledge the remnants of its past. These guys have been in, been in captivity, and my job is to try to set the captives free. Moore warned officials as they began construction on a new Fort Bend ISD education center, there could be bodies buried beneath. I think that some people initially were somewhat dismissive. I'm not saying we were. Remains of freed slaves imprisoned in the Reconstruction era, often on bogus charges, and leased to sugarcane plantation owners who still needed cheap labor. These guys built the county up. In February, construction crews found the gravesite and uncovered several artifacts nearby. Some of the chain here, you'll see swivels here and here. A lot of times those swivels were used in chain gangs. Since June, a dozen archaeologists have taken over the site, doing painstaking exhumation work by hand, studying the bones to learn who was buried here and what happened to them. They have broken bones in their hand. We can see that there are the majority of the individuals doing extremely heavy labor for a very long time. 95 sets of skeletal remains recovered so far, all people of African descent, all male except for one, as old as 70, as young as 14. They were exploited, they were beat, they were hung. The discovery, a bittersweet vindication for Moore, who hopes to work with the city and county leaders to memorialize this hidden history. So that we have some type of restitution, maybe bring a little reparation, reconciliation. And the archaeologists here say while they are able to retrieve DNA from the bones, they say the possibility of actually identifying who is in those graves is very low unless perhaps relatives of people who believe their ancestors may be buried here over 100 years ago come forward and speak up to these archaeologists. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.